Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I am Carrie Muggs and each week I pull a card out of a deck to tell you what's coming up for that week. And we are using Colette Berenrit, The Shaman's Dream and Alberto Veliado. So this week, this week the card is over, Overflow, Overwhelm and Plenty. So much good is going to come from this week. So much Ah, so much abundance, so much everything. It's you're just gonna be. Sometimes I wonder if these are like a week behind, <laughs> because I kind of felt like that last week. But so much good, so much overflow, so much abundance, so much is gonna come to you. It's gonna be a good week. Now, the only thing about this though is awesome, awesome, create that. But sometimes so much abundance and overflow can be overwhelming. Um, so abundance is good. Um, lots of, you know, things coming your way is good, but sometimes you can get a little overwhelmed. So just take it a little bit at a time. That's what I have to do too. So when I look at my schedule and I see readings booked out so far, it overwhelms me. So I just have to take one day at a time. One, just the three readings I do each day. That's, that's what I have to focus on. So just focus on the little things, be in the now and focus on what you can now. Be so grateful, so grateful for what comes through, but also know that you can only focus on what you can at a time. So there's gonna be so much good next week. There's this coming week. There's gonna be so much overflow of it that it might be a little overwhelming. So just know things take time, take your time, take it with, you know, just take it in little, like a whole big elephant at one time it can be so fun and so great, but at the same time, it can be overwhelming. So just take it little bits at a time. Okay. Now this card, I might have to post the picture on my Instagram for this card this week, because there's a lot, there's lots of bubbles, lots and lots of bubbles all over. There's also this water or pond in front of this big, huge, beautiful castle house, which is symbolic of abundance. So any type of castle or house or beautiful, like big mansion house is, and look at these waterfalls falling from, from the, whatever these, the towers of the house, which is the overflow, the overflow of abundance. So there's going to be so much coming your way and so much goodness coming your way that it's just going to be over, like almost overwhelming. And I hate to say that, but it is, it'll be, but that's a good thing, a good overwhelming. Also too, I'm going to look, there's this little old, um, record player. What do you call those with the horns? Like the, you know, the big, so that would be a huge, it's actually not a record player, but it's, it, it looks like one that's coming out of the chimney. So water is going to be a symbol, big, big houses, mansions are going to be a symbol, bubbles are going to be a symbol. Also weather vanes, because there's also those weather vanes on top of the house, those weather things, if you see those, lots of, lots of symbols. This, this card actually has symbols upon symbols because there's lots of symbols in the house. So on the house, so I'll probably post a picture. Also waterfalls, any type of waterfall it will, and water is huge with abundance and new beginnings. Water is big with that. So this is all coming. I kind of feel like this represents our new year after January, right? Like this is the beginning of our new year because January was kind of hard. So this is good things coming. Good, good things are coming. I'm trying to look at any of the other signs. Obviously this big form of light, this light beam that's, that's, that's trans, like there's a darkness around the house and all of a sudden this big light comes in towards the home, the house. So that's good. And obviously 43, 43 is an awesome number, but 444 means that your guides, your, your the angels are watching over you. All of your, your guardian angels, your angels, 333 means your spirit guides are with you. So this is perfect for this week. So your spirit guides are going to be around, your angels are going to be around and there's going to be an overflow of abundance and plenty and maybe with a little bit of overwhelm because of it, which is always a great thing. So lots of things coming up for me. As you have all, I sent an email out to all my clients last week. So if you ever got a reading for me, you got this email. If not, I opened up Fridays for appointments. Now in the past, when I opened up appointments, I had three in the afternoon and I opened to two more in the mornings. That did not work for me because that made me do five readings a day and that was overwhelming. 
So instead of opening more appointments on the same day, I opened Fridays up. I used to use Fridays to work on my membership, but I no longer have a membership. So now I'm gonna open some appointments on Friday. That will kind of alleviate some of the being so booked out. Um, so if you're already scheduled, um, there's been lots of reschedules. I don't have time to go through my down my whole cancellation list. So if you're already scheduled and want to get it, see if there's a time that you can get in sooner, you go to your confirmation email that you got when you first made the appointment and you go in to, you go clear down to the bottom and hit reschedule and it can reschedule you. Also, I have a mediumship course coming up in the end of February, February 26th. We're going to talk about mediumship. We're going to learn how to sit in the power. We're going to talk about how to get into your power or to see some of the signs or just to connect to spirits so maybe you can um, work on your on your on your intuition. This is for beginners or intermediate um, beginning beginning um, sorry I lost track for a minute beginning mediums. So it's not like for mediums who are super already working and doing doing it's doing readings. It's for me, people who are interested in becoming mediums or just interested in mediumship or just interested in tapping into their own gifts. So just know that's coming up February 26th and you can find that information on my website at carrymugs.com. Now, also too, I have a great big thing coming up on my Spunky Tribe. Um, you can go to, you can find my Spunky Tribe in lots of my podcast notes. It's a group where we talk about all things spiritual and we're going to start having monthly themes. And this month's theme is going to be meditation. I did a podcast on it last week. We're going to talk about meditation, how to do it, how to, how to do your meditation practice. And this month I am going to, um, put together a workbook or a meditation challenge, and that will be presented in the group and also on my Instagram. So, and, and Spunky Spirit on my Facebook page. So watch for all these fun things coming. Yes, I'm back in the groove. I, you know, the end of last year was a little tough after I kind of overdid it, but now I'm good and I want to share the love. So you guys watch for those things and I hope to see you guys next week. Talk to you later.